you are in the same room with me. Mm. Just a few feet over there. Uh, you've been at Flash Memory Summit 2016. I have. And I want a 60 terabyte hard drive. Excuse me, a 60 terabyte SSD. Uh, do you? From Seagate. Is that like a house mortgage for that one? Um, yeah, yeah, probably, actually. Uh, <laughs> they, they managed to cram, uh, I think it's three PCBs with a whole bunch of flash packages on both sides of each one of those PCBs, and then they cram all of those into a what looks like a three-and-a-half-inch hard drive, um, and it connects via SAS 12 gigabit. I think it's like dual SAS 12 gigabit. So you end up getting like a gig-and-a-half per second throughput, which is going to take you a while, even at a gig-and-a-half per second, to write 60 terabytes if you wanted to fill the whole thing. Um, but, you know, they're going for like super, super dense uh, storage to be able to plug into a data center where they're just going to have like, you know, chassis full of these things. So we're talking about a uh, 17 drives to a petabyte. Uh, yeah. And you can potentially fit 17 drives into something like a, like a 3U or 4U chassis easily, actually. Um, so that's, you know, you could be talking like tens, dozens of petabytes just sitting in a, sitting in one 42U chassis or 42U rack. It's pretty that's impressive. Um, do we have an, is that going to be shipping anytime soon or is that more of a theoretical product that's pretty way out? Um, I think they were doing it more as a theoretical thing. Didn't look like they were ready to ramp up and do, you know, crazy volume shipment, but it's definitely a conceivable thing. It, it could happen. Um, we're just not sure which way things are going to go as far as how, it, it, it all depends on how fast you need to connect to your storage sure. versus just how much bulk storage you want. So the, this one goes more for the really low power consumption, yet a huge amount of storage. Like this thing idles at like 4 watts, and I think active it's only like 15 watts. And that's similar to what regular hard drive territory is, except it's 60 terabytes of flash. So uh, pretty impressive. It's pretty crazy when you think about it, the, the idea. It's, I mean, it's fairly dense. It looks like it's maybe the size of a couple three, three and a half inch hard drives? Um, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, there's, there's, for regular hard drives, there's, uh, I mean, you're up to 10 terabytes now. Right. Probably 12 soon. Um, but still, when it comes to random performance, I mean, you just can't compare hard drives to flash at all. So, you know, this is a whole bunch of flash that you can randomly access super fast, right? I wait with bated breath. The yep. pricing on that's going to be Tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, I would think. Uh, yeah, it is just a lot of raw flash, right? So the cost per gig is going to be similar to what you see, you know, even in the consumer space right now, right? Because the flash still costs money. Um, they might have, you know, done some cool stuff with a controller and some cool chips to be able to fan out to talk to so much flash from just sure. a single controller. But at the end of the day, you're just buying 60 terabytes worth of flash to put in this thing. Uh, so it's going to cost some bank, yeah. I'm sitting here like 60 times 1,000 times 0.25. <laughs> oh, hey, it's only $15,000. Only fifteen grand. You know, it's all of a sudden it almost seems approachable. Affordable. 